Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mike Dardis. Protesters at Saturday's March for Sam DeVos call it a case of cops out of control. Police say demonstrators, though, crossed the line. Tonight, you can see the video and you can judge for yourself. WLWT News 5's John London, live at UC, where that march started. John. Yeah, and you know, Mike, uh, it began without problem to honor the two-month mark since the fatal shooting of Sam DeBose by a UC officer, but it ended a couple of blocks behind me here on Calhoun in kind of a chaotic fashion as four young men were arrested. Daniel Joseph ended up on the painful end of a police stun gun during Saturday night's protest march. It was captured on video and posted on the Internet. Joseph admits he had given an officer the one-finger salute, but nothing to warrant this type of response. I did nothing wrong. I did nothing illegal. Nothing. Especially when that cop tased me. He had absolutely no reason to tase me, no right to tase me at all. Ben Bernston tells us he didn't even see the faces of officers who arrested him from behind. Jordan Freshour figures he was taken in for documenting the scene with his camera. Officer points directly at me as if to say, you're next. Um, and then I was uh, arrested, threw my camera to the curb and went peacefully. Back up! Back up! Cincinnati police say they respect the right for peaceful protest. What you see here, they tell us, is an example of trying to control an arrest scene. It just seemed like folks along the freight and the route were really going out of the way to do something to elicit a police response. Lieutenant Colonel Dave Bailey says some protesters would not comply with police requests to refrain from interfering with traffic and to stay on the sidewalk. The four who were arrested are from other parts of Ohio and maintain they were simply exercising their right to assent. I don't know where it went sour to where they felt like enough was enough and they wanted to stop us and be overly aggressive. Traffic businesses became a mess. We had people in the middle of the street. They would not retreat. Move on to the sidewalk immediately. Police say safety was their concern that no one would have been arrested had they obeyed the law. Those who took this video say it shows Joseph never obstructed any traffic, only the sensibilities of some officers. Now, in these protest marches, Cincinnati police usually go over the ground rules with leaders who are orchestrating the march. In this instance, they tell us they either were not able to identify or were not informed who the leaders of the group were so that opportunity to go over the ground rules to establish some sort of rapport never materialized. Live at UC, John London, WWT News 5. All right, John, thanks. The charge of obstructing official business is a second-degree misdemeanor. It carries the possibility of three months in jail if convicted.